A new SUV loses 8.3% of its value each year. Construct a model for an SUV with an initial cost of $27,900 after X years. Use the model to predict the value of an SUV after five years. So we've got two parts to this problem. First one is to create a model. The second one is to use the model. Okay, so now in this case, we are talking about losing value. So when we think about our problem or our formula of the A equals A sub zero, one, now we're going to subtract the rate because we're losing value, right? It's going down. The one represents what we started with and everything after that. Okay, so we have an initial cost of 27.9. So that goes in the A sub zero. One minus 8.3%. If we move the decimal two spots, we're at 0 0.083. So we're going to subtract 0 0.083, and we're just talking about X years, right, to do our model. So when I subtract inside, I get a model of A equals 27,900 times 0.917. And here is the model. And notice when it says a model, a model has an X in it, a variable, right? You can't just automatically throw the 5 in because it's not always 5, right? We might use this model to predict after 2 years, 5 years, 12 years, 75 years, anything. So your model has the X. That's part one. Now, part two says use the model to predict the value after five years. So now we say, okay, T equals five. So A equals 27,900 times 0.917. Now I put the five in because the model at five years is where we have this. Depending on your calculator, you might have to find the exponential first before multiplying by 27.9. Otherwise, you'll go ahead and just type it all in at the same time, and we'll end up with an ending amount to the nearest penny of $18,090.51 using the model for uh, exponential decay.